And one time we went, there was no pool in the camp. So we used to go use the Natanya beach. There were separate hours. So I was kind of standing, I guess my, I was getting my toes wet in the water, you know, watching, watching what's going on. And you know that in the ocean, there are signs there. The lifeguard keeps saying, Don't go past the black flag because God's infinite wisdom. Mm. You walk a step past the flag and suddenly the tide Rips you, yeah. pulls you back instead of pushing you forward. So it's, it's dangerous. So I'm standing around there and I'm looking around and suddenly I see a kid. A kid is flailing in the water. Ima! Ima! He's screaming, Ima. So I started going after him. Almost got him. The water pushed him back. Tried again. Almost, at this point, the waves are coming over my head and it's getting scared. But I was still able to, I was walking still on the ground. I didn't have to swim. Not a great swimmer. Mm. Anyhow, I tried a few times and the water is way over my head. My glasses still stay on my face. Anyway, I got him and everyone's watching and I, I, I basically saved this kid. Wow. So if he's listening to this podcast, I'd like to know how he's doing. I haven't, <laughs> and then he started, I haven't heard from him in a long the, time. And then he started screaming, Abba, Abba. And that's how you wrote the song, like right there. Many years later. That's, huh? Wow. It's incredible. It's incredible. He was an Israeli kid. So I don't know if you know, <laughs> he's a father today, if he's a Zayda today. If he's listening. That's, that's amazing. But I saved the kid from drowning. Wow.